What's your name, where are you from, and what do you do for a living? Hi, my name is Fred Moss, and this is Chris. I'm the owner and the founder of a company called Moss Grills. I'm from St. Louis, Missouri, but I reside in San Diego, California, and I make the world's greatest barbecue grills. How much money do you need from investors, and what percentage of your company are you willing to give up? Yeah, I'm seeking $1 million in exchange for 30% of Moss Grills. How will the money be used? Be specific. Yeah, the money will be used as a series of rounds. More specifically, to hire more veterans and employees to mass manufacture so that we can supply QVC stores, HSNs, big box retailers, and to create a more visibility awareness to Moss Grills to include acquiring more celebrities presence such as George Foreman possibly someday endorsing Moss Grills. Is it fully patented or is it patented pending? Yes, all of our grills are pretty much patented. We do hold the patents on our pool table grills, our single barrel grills, our double barrel grills, and we just rec recently put a design and a utility patents on our kegerator grill. How far along is the development of your business? Is it just an idea or a working prototype, or is it an existing product or business that is currently on the market? Are you satisfied with your development so far? How far along could you be with the necessary money? Yes, yes, yes. Yes, our kegerator is a fully functional, working, battle-tested prototype and will be on the market this year. Yes, we're very satisfied with the development and we can revolutionize the market with proper resources. Is your product or business currently making money? If so, how much revenue has the product or business generated? Yes. Well, Moss Grills is currently making money and has been for five going on six years now. But we recently completed and battle tested the commercial and residential size kegerator, being the first, world's first patent pending Bluetooth music, alcoholic and non-alcoholic LED technology grill. We have made $354,885.54. And we think that's a great accomplishment from Craigslist promotion ads alone. How is your product or business different from similar ideas? What makes yours unique or better? Yes. So according to our market research, there are no other similar products like the kegerator grill on the market worldwide, which is why we patented it. We locked it down with a designer and a utility patent and are ready to mass produce and get it in box stores nationwide, ASAP. Our grills are made in the USA by U.S. veterans and revolutionized barbecue grilling. This is a $2 billion market and classic American pastime with built-in Bluetooth music, alcoholic beverage, non-alcoholic, dispensing LED technology. We're ready to move and partner up with the right people to take this grill industry to the next level. How did you come up with the idea? Explain your aha moment and share your story. Yes, yes. So we started in 2010, posting a few ads here on Craigslist. I had a buddy of mine in the Navy came over and asked me, boss, build me one of those grills. When he put the money in my hand, I looked at it and looked at him and said, wow, I'll put this on Craigslist and see if we can make some other sales. So I made five or six sales in San Diego. Then I post some Craigslist ads in LA, made 10 to 20 sales. Then I post some Craigslist ads in New York, made 10, 20 sales, Miami, 10, 20 sales, Midwest, Atlanta, all over. And within one year, I grew this company in over 50 states. Now, in 2012, I have my first celebrity endorsements by Bucky Lassen and Whoopi Goldberg. In 2013, I turned this company around and got Tony Hawk. And then I was featured on ABC World News with Diane Sawyer's Made in America. In 2014, I started having the San Diego Police Department and the sheriffs, and we started supplying grills to the prison facilities. All the grill, all the all, all the sheriff departments and the agencies and stuff throughout you know San Diego area. We started hitting military institutions next. You know, from the Army, the Navy, the Air Force, and Marines, they started ordering grills. Then we actually started tapping into um, you know baseball stadiums like the Milwaukee Brewers. We also hit up the Little League World Series, which is in Williamsburg, Pennsylvania. We actually gave them a grill also too in 2014. It carried on in 2015. 
where we started tapping into the NFL arena. Shahid Khan of the Jacksonville Jaguars actually ordered a grill from him. We were very, very impressed with that. And then we had the San Diego Padres and multiple football players such as Art Shell, Mike Tober, who played for the Carolina Panthers. We tapped into the boxing organizations, Henry Armstrong Foundation, and Sugar Shane Mosley also, too, got a grill from us to include professional fight doctor Paul Wallace. In 2016, we partnered up with Power Move Multimedia CEO Kyrie Knox and Flex Alexanders, and we featured in the Fabricator magazine. Fabricator in 2016 gave us national exposure and put us in every magazine throughout the United States. And then also too, in 2016, we received DeVry University's the Innovation Impact Award and was featured in their magazine. And in 2017, well, we keep it going strong because here we are now with the kegerator. What are your sales? We need 2016, your projected 2017, and your lifetime sales. Make sure you explain why your sales are what they are, whether they are high or low. Yes, yes, yes. So, in 2015, we grossed $107,000. In 2016, we grossed $80,462. We took a dip, though, $26,538, and the numbers dipped because of concentration of ev evolutions of the brand and development of the Kegerator Grill. To include Craigslist, Tighter restrictions on promos. It's harder to advertise on Craigslist alone with all the fraudulent activities. So we're ready to partner with the right person so we can make millions with the right resources. How much have you invested in your business? Yes, yes, yes. So over the span of six years, we put approximately about $45,000 in our business. Tell us about your time in the U.S. military and how you now hire fellow veterans in your company. So yes, um, what we did is um, I joined the military in 1986. My military career was phenomenal. Taking the courage to take an oath to support and defend the Constitution of the United States of America is something that I'm very grateful for doing. It has been an honor to represent the fighting spirit as a soldier to defend the freedom and democracy around the world. I hire vets because our brothers and sisters understand the core values. Besides this, gives me the opportunity to give back to those who made great sacrifices to this country. Chris, some type of drink, my veteran brother. And also, while Chris is pouring that drink, let me show you my accolades and awards that I received for my 24 years of honorable service. I got good conduct awards. I have an impeccable military service record. Here it is right here. And on top of that, I got an award when I retired from the President of the United States to include from Governor the Arnold Schwarzenegger. To the hills of Tennessee, across the plains. Like to say something, Chris. Mm. Nothing like a good old cold beer. <laughs> Cheers. From one bet to another. Gotta love it. Gotta love it. Gotta love 